And that's it for verse 1. That was pretty good. It was a normal mission. But, you know, it had some lovey-dovey stuff going on, so... Hooray! And we have two, the recipe book. Sweet and sour ogre meatballs. God damn it, just had to be real. It had to be the thing Five was talking about. <laughs> Today I wanted to jot down notes on my new fancy meat dish. First, find the freshest ogre meat you can. Any type is fine, so long as it's not too grisly. Sure. Tenderize it for a while, then mix in diced onions, ginger, breadcrumbs, eggs, and salt and pepper to taste. Form the mix into balls and fry them in oil. Then pop them in the oven. For, for the sauce, mix tomatoes, vinegar, and sugar, then spice it up. P.S. Five's gonna love these. Happy face. I like how they threw in the happy face, because I feel like two would actually do that. So, I like that. That's a nice touch. That's cute. I like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and buy some of these items, and we're good to go to verse two. Let's do it! Oh, nice. Well, I like how the fireplace is the, uh, way to actually start the next mission. But let's talk to Scent. Maybe there will be some very inappropriate conversations. I don't know. Let's talk. <sighs> Boy, am I ever tired! You fought hard, Lady Two. But one look at you, Scent, and all my fatigue just drains away. Poof. All gone. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> there is no greater honor for me than to aid the kind-hearted Lady Two. Kind-hearted? You really think so? Of course. I mean, you are the girl who's been building orphanages for the less fortunate, in spite of all the chaos surrounding us. Well, of course. I can't just leave them alone. The orphans do seem to enjoy your company. <laughs> Aw, thanks. They really are cute little buggers, huh? They certainly are. And they love getting into all kinds of mischief. But I suppose I could say the same for you, Lady Two. What? Mean? I'm not a child. Apologies, my lady. You most certainly are not. Though your soft, pliable skin and sweet, unsullied fragrance do remind me of a newborn. A, a newborn? Indeed. You make me want to care for you like an innocent babe. Hmm. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Man, he's got the moves? I gotta learn from Scent. Maybe I'll actually get a girl. If I learn from him. I feel like he knows. No, this is dumb. Okay, let's talk to the fireplace. Scent, are you happy? Well, that's rather sudden. What's wrong? I mean, I'm happy, right? I love this great guy, and he totally loves me back. We're together every single day, and we're working together to build the world that one wants. And everything's going perfect, you know? So yeah, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. But I'm also scared. <clears throat> you know how water pours out of a cup if you put too much in? It's kind of like that. It's like I have so much happiness, I'm worried it's all going to spill out. I don't know. That probably sounds weird, huh? Not at all. Scent, would you mind holding me? I want to feel warm and safe. Of course not. So, what should we do next? We should clear out the land of forests. The monsters there are still a serious threat. If you say it, it must be true. Let's go. I know. I know that happiness doesn't last forever. That's why... 
I want to love him right now with all my heart. The Land of Force. Bash up your foes, great. You know, like, I really like Toon, like, just after that, because I feel like she actually gives a shit. Like, not just about herself and about scent. Like, the whole orphanages talk, like how she's making orphanages for the young ones. I don't even know if that's, like, legit, but if it is, like, you know, I could believe that, because I feel like Toon would be that kind of person. So, I don't know, I kind of like this. kind of like two. Look at all these dudes I gotta kill. Look at all that butt smashing I gotta put up with. I am not doing so great right now, but we killed one of them. Here comes that other guy. Oh my god, I gotta kill this fucking wolf. I would say they're the worst enemy, but then we got imps, and imps are, like, way worse, and spirits. Spirits are probably the worst, actually. <laughs> but that was pretty easy. Yeah, I, I don't know, I really like two, just after that. So I have high hopes for this. This mission. Or this chapter. I gotta go kill Canyoneers. Shit. There's an intoner here. Don't let her leave the forest alive. I thought we were killing monsters, Sith. Why are all these people here? I believe some of the Lord's forces remain in the area. Ugh. I hate to do this, but if they're defying one, they have to die. See, like... That's way better than four, because, like, she's, like, totally up for it. Four would have just been like, oh, it's one's fault, whatever. Well, that was one slash and they died. So, fantastic. This place is pretty big, though, surprisingly. Alright. Uh, let's do it. Oh, wow. Really? Oh! Wow! Guess I just should have gone to intoner mode. Well, that was my bad. Alright, alright, alright. That's okay. Well, I might have to speed this up, so... Hooray. Oh, that kind of sucked. Alright, alright. Uh, I don't think there's any treasure down there, so let's just get moving. Man, that sucks! I always hate when that happens. So now we gotta fight dudes again. I don't know how I feel about dudes. Oh, well, as long as I have scent, I'm sure I'll be okay. Oh, there you are. It's like, where the fuck did you go? You do so much damage to these guys, it doesn't even matter, so. Whatever! Alright, let's do it right this time. Let's do it right this time. Uh, okay. It's almost bad, but I'm definitely gonna use intoner mode for this next one. Uh, I should be not speeding up anymore, so you should hear me properly. Alright, let's do this. Just get running. Suck shit! Oh, fucking got him. Oh, that worked out. Should have done that from the beginning, but oh well. Mistakes happen. I like how, like, it makes the noise when I complete an, an, an objective. Can't talk. But, like, it, sh it takes, like, like, five or ten seconds for it to actually show up. Those wolves are fucking out. Look at those wolves. They are freaking the shit out. Alright, let's go. Hey, you don't have to help the wolves. I'm after the wolves. You don't even have to be here. And I'd be like, yeah, okay, whatever. You're a guy. I don't want to kill you. 
Why don't you just work for me? Right? I hope I didn't miss a treasure chest. I'll take care of you first. That's one down. Okay, you. Glad you're uh, getting started on it, Scent. Thank you. It looked like, like, the way he jumped out like that, it looked like he was, like, laying down with his dead buddy. I'm so sorry, my friend. <laughs> I let you down. Alright, so am I missing anything? I think I see something right there. All right, we're doing good then. I think, I'm pretty sure I haven't skipped a chest, so I'm feeling pretty good. Look at all these things. Oh my God, look at all these vines. Who's gonna clean this out if not me? Right? How'd you guys get on the other side of those vines? They seem kind of weak and worn out. Well, they are stragglers. Most are pretty badly hurt. Maybe we should try healing them, you know? How oh, let's let's the those weapons? I'm afraid we can't, Lady Two. You understand why I did that, right? Why I harnessed the power of your song? Why I used it to cure the orphans and strengthen our soldiers? She's an intoner. your kind. She'll kill you in an instant. No. I did it because I wanted them to protect you. And in order to do that, they had to be healthier, stronger. I strove to forge them into a mighty it. shield for you, my lady. It had nothing to do with kindness. It's not true. You superstar is long gone, my gentle prince. I guess that's one way to look at it, if you want to be ignorant. Whatever, Lady Two. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I guess the orphanage thing is good for protecting Lady 2 and all that. I mean, it, it, it's good for them also, but, you know, means to the end, right? <sighs> but whatever. I mean, there's, there's always an alternate, like, a, another motive, right? I can't, I can't talk. I don't have words. I'm not an English major. Driven by far more than your average man. Enough to lay down my life for yours if you need. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. If you died on me, I'd, I'd go crazy. Well, we're just gonna do this. I appreciate that. Don't you ever die, Jason? My lady, I promise not to die. Even if it kills me. Alright, that was pretty damn good, actually. I wasn't expecting to get that much time out of it. I was hoping to kill him. And there we go. There's a bomb. Run for the bomb! <laughs> Will you leave me alone? They're dead! You shit! Oh, he, he's gone. Okay, good. I was like, so mad over that bomb guy. Okay, did I... There's gotta be a treasure up there. Maybe. No? Is there really nothing? There's gotta be one in this area. Or did I get them all? I, I forgot. 
I wish I could check. Oh, check everywhere anyway. Oh, no, there it is. I see you were hiding it. You? Hey. You don't hide things from me. Look at me. Look at me. You don't hide things from me. I'm so I'm sorry, lady. You don't hide things from me! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. You're a good tree. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> Throughout the endless war, the kind intoner gathered up orphans across the land and cared for them. She didn't have any parents of her own, so she wanted to help others escape the misery that she herself had known. And through it all, her one true love was always at her side. This is the story of a certain couple. A couple that strove endlessly to support each other. This is like the happiest story in the game. This is so happy. Like everyone's like super nice to each other. This is... this is nice! Well, I barely made that level up. Like, everyone's so happy with each other! It's all... it's all fine and dandy. I'm like, it, it even makes me happy.